So in this image, it's a snowy day. Imagine you're going down Michigan Avenue, um, which is a street we know and love um, because of our Connected Corridor project. Um, and it's a little hard to tell if the light is green or not. Um, and this cyclist sure feels pretty close to the self-driving car right here in the left-hand lane. Um, and so this is a, a challenging but kind of basic scenario for a self-driving car. Cavenue comes in and we can simplify the lane by saying like, look, the bicyclist should not be there. Let's put the bicyclist in the bike lane. So we can do some simple road construction, add a barrier to, to separate the lane so that that connected vehicle is now in its own lane. Um, and we can tell you the crosswalk is clear. So whether there's an occlusion or not, you'll know that it's okay to cross that crosswalk because no one's in it. Uh, we can tell you, you probably didn't notice this in the last image, um, but there's some black ice right there. So we can tell you there's black ice up ahead. We've observed the road. We know that it's there. And you should really reduce your speed to 15 miles an hour to safely cross that um, black ice. Um, and we can tell you the light state, the light's green. And we can tell you how long it's going to be green for. Um, and then in an ideal world, we can optimize the timing of the lights based on the dynamic conditions of the road today, which would be amazing. Um, Here's another scene. Uh, the, this one is um, a vehicle's cutting off Ego right here. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but there's also a pedestrian in the crosswalk that's semi-occluded by um, that, uh, that vehicle. And that's a really hard problem. Occlusions are really hard for self-driving cars um, because they can't infer things very well. Um, they're getting better and better at it, totally. But it's a hard problem. It's hard for us as humans. Um, and then there's an emergency vehicle. And so understanding that that emergency vehicle is there and what you're supposed to do in that case. So again, we simplify, we put that barrier up, give you your own dedicated lane that removes the ability for the vehicle to cut in. Um, we also tell you the crosswalk is occupied. So whether you've seen this person as they're crossing around this car, which is a hard thing to see, um, humans, honestly, the way they do it is they look through um, this car's windows often to be able to see that, that pedestrian. And we tell you there's an emergency vehicle that's coming, so you need to stop even though the light is green. 